Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss Minimax search algorithm in artificial intelligence with a simple solved example. In this case, we have been given a two player game tree in which the static scores are given from the first player's point of view. In this case, there are two players are there. One is Max, another one is Min. A two player game tree is given to us and these scores are assigned with respect to the first player that is Max in this case. Given this particular two player game tree, we need to apply the min max search algorithm and then we need to compute the value of this particular root node as well as we need to find the most convenient path that max can follow so that he can win that particular game. To understand this particular numerical, first we will understand the min max search algorithm and then we will solve this particular numerical. In Minimax search algorithm, the very first thing what we need to do is we need to generate this particular game tree starting from root node till this particular leaf nodes. That is the first thing that is for each of these particular nodes. We need to go on drawing the possibilities here. So once you've done this particular thing, the next thing is to apply the utility or payoff function and then we need to find these particular values. So already we have been given this particular game tree as well as we have been given the values of this particular leaves. So there is no need to do this particular thing. If it is not given, we need to generate this particular tree as well as we need to find the values for this particular leaves here. Now, once you have done this particular thing, we want to know what is the value of this particular root node as well as the path here. For that reason, we will apply something known as DFS so that we can expand this particular tree starting from root node here. Once you expand this particular tree starting from root node, we will read this particular leaf node. Once you read this particular leaf node, we need to back up that particular values towards this particular root node. That is nothing but once you read this particular leaf node 10 here, we need to back up this particular value to its parent. Similarly, once you get the value over here, we need to back up it to the its parent and the same thing we have to do till we reach this particular root node here. So there are two things we need to remember. Whenever you, we back up this particular value, what is the kind of node here whether it's a max node or min node we need to see so in this case whenever we are present at this particular node 10 when you back up this particular thing this parent node is a max over here so we have to assign the maximum value among these particular children nodes so in this case 10 and 9 are there between these two 10 is the maximum so we will assign 10 to this one now when you get this particular thing as 10 and if you get it 20 here Whenever you back up these values to its parent, the parent is what min here. So what we need to do is minimum among these two things we need to assign over here. So that is what the two things we need to remember. And once you do this particular thing or once you assign the values till the root node, after that uh, we will be able to get what is that known as the most uh, optimal or can say that the convenient path starting from root node till the leaf node over here. Now we will apply these particular steps and then we will try to get the value of root node as well as the most convenient path. As said earlier, the tree is already given to us as well as the values of leaves is also given to us. Now we need to apply DFS and then we need to expand this particular tree as well as we need to back up these particular values unless and until we reach those particular values to root node over here. Now, very first thing what we do as said earlier we need to apply the DFS algorithm and then we need to expand this particular tree uh, DFS algorithm expand this particular tree left side first until it reaches uh, the leaf node and then it will expand on the right hand side here so first we will go from here that is root node to here from here to here and then we will go to leaf node over here so that is what I have shown in this particular case so once you reach this particular leaf node we got the value that is 10 we will back up this particular value to parent here. So parent is what kind of node? It is a max here. So till now we got only 10. So the maximum of 10 is 10 only. So that is what has been assigned to this particular max node here. Now once the left node is over for this particular root, we have the right subtree also. So that is nothing but this particular path. So once you reach this particular relief node that is 9, we need to back up it. So once you back up it, we have already assigned 10 to this particular node and the next value is 9 here between 10 and 9 which is the maximum 10 is the maximum so we don't change it here now once you've done this particular thing we need to back it up to its parent that is the min node here so that is nothing but this 10 will be sent back to this particular root node that is nothing but the min here which is having 10 as the value right now now for this particular min node we have a right subtree also so we try to expand it 
So we will go to this particular node and then we will go to the left side that is 14 here. We need to back up it to its parent. Again, what kind of node is this? It's a max here. So 14 will be sent back. We will get 14 as the value for this particular root node. Now we will expand the right hand side here. So once you expand it, we will get this particular the leaf node as 18 here. Again, we will send it back to its uh, parent node. So once you send it back, 14 is the current value. The next value is 18. Between 14 and 18, 18 is maximum. So we will remove this particular 14 and then we will assign 18 here. Now once you get the value for this particular node, we need to send it back to its parent. So once you send it back to its parent, what is the kind of node here? It's a min here. So current value is 10. The next value is 18. 18 and 10, the minimum is 10 here. So the same value will be retained here. Now once you're done expanding this particular node right side, we will send it back to its parent here. So once you send it back to the parent, the value of this particular root node will be 10 here because we have only one value right now. Now the expanding on the left side is over. We need to expand the root node on the right hand side here. So it will go to this particular node first and then the left side and then the left side. So what is the value we will get here? 5. So 5 will be sent back to its parent. So the value of this particular parent will be what now? 5 here. Again, we will go to the right side of this particular uh, node which is the value is 4 here and then we will send it uh, back to this particular parent between 5 and 4, 5 is the maximum so we will retain it here. Now we will send it back to its parent, the value of this particular node will become 5 here, again it is minimum. Uh, now we will try to expand on the right hand side here, so it will go to this particular node and then it will go to this node here. So uh, this is the path and the value is over here is 50. So 50 will be sent back. The value of this particular node will be 50 here. Again, we will go to the right hand side. The right hand side value is 3. Now we will need to send it back to its parent. But the value of this particular parent is already 50. And the value of this no leaf is 3. Between 5, 50 and 3, 50 is maximum. So it will be retained as it is. Now we will send it back to its parent. The parent is minimum here. Between 5 and 50, 5 is minimum. It will be retained as it is. Now we will send it back to its parent. Its parent is max here. Between 10 and 5, 10 is maximum. 10 will be retained here. So this is how actually we need to expand this particular root node. So once this particular entire tree is traversed, we will be getting the value of this particular root node. The value in this particular case is 10 here. Now once you get this particular value, we need to search the path where 10 is assigned to each and every node here. So if you look at this particular path, this side, we have 10 here, so this is the path. And from here to here, there is a 10 is present here. And then from here to here, 10 is present. So the most convenient path from this particular max nodes point of view is, this is the convenient path here. So this is how the minimax search algorithm works. I have explained this minimax search algorithm with a simple solved example. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.